bride just want to look beautiful on their wedding day. But um, let me just say there's a lot of strong personalities here. The wedding date I see is very soon. We might have to rush some dresses. Oh my God, I love. Okay. I really, really love the long sleeves. Sir, mom. My friend Kevin and two of my bridesmaids, Shannon and Leah. Beautiful. I really feel like I'm so lucky to have her. Seeing Anand as I walk down the aisle. Bride just want to look beautiful on their wedding day. But um, let me just say there's a lot of strong personalities here. Number seven, Nicole. Meet Nicole from Chili Hibbing, Minnesota, on a whirlwind quest for her dream wedding dress. The girl's not messing around. Her wedding to the wonderful John Marinek is just around the corner, and she's determined to look breathtakingly gorgeous. So, what's the plan? Fly to New York in a private jet, of course. Joined by her squad, sister-in-law, and the ever-supportive mom and dad, Nicole storms into Kleinfeld with a mission. The wedding bells are chiming sooner than later, and she's ready to find THE dress. Now, here's the kicker. Nicole's taste is as diverse as a buffet menu. From romantic to downright sassy, she's ready to try on anything and everything. No caps on budget, mind you. Money's flowing like water, and Nicole's like a kid in a candy store. Enter Diane, the dress whisperer and expert in handling indecisive brides with a clock ticking louder than Big Ben. Nicole, the bride with the sky-high expectations, is in for a treat, or maybe a challenge. After a fashion show that can rival a Broadway production, and dad dropping hints that can make anyone blush, it finally happens. Nicole locks eyes with a gown that screams, the one. Cue tears, applause, and a dad's heart doing a little happy dance. But hold your horses, Nicole's not sold. It's almost like she wants a whole bridal party to try it on just so she can see the dress from every possible angle. Talk about commitment issues. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Diane. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Nicole Burks. I'm from Hibby, Minnesota. So elegant. Gorgeous. Oh, it is. I love the back. Dan? John would fall over. It that's what, that's what I said. The wedding date I see is very soon. We might have to rush some dresses. Look, you have everybody crying. <laughs> the dress. This is her expression. Jet with my dad. We set up all these appointments. So far, my taste is totally across the board, so right. this is gonna be maybe tough. Hours later, after a roller coaster of emotions, Nicole finds herself torn between a romantic stunner and a fun pink number. Daddy's approval is crucial, and the pink dress, though fun, might be a bit much for the wedding day. Just when you think it's a wrap, Nicole drops a shocker. She's not ready to commit. A dash to another store is on the horizon, and Diane's left wondering if her business will take a hit. It's well past closing time, Nicole's still twirling in gowns, and Diane's trying not to pull her hair out. The drama unfolds like a reality TV show, but in the end, there is a winner, a dress that steals Nicole's heart, dad's breath, and maybe even Diane's patience. And there you have it, a Minnesota girl, a private jet, and a quest for the perfect dress that's as entertaining as a rom-com on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Wedding dress shopping, who knew it could be this wild? Cheers to love, laughter, and finding the one in dresses and soulmates. Number six, Emily. Meet Emily, the lawyer by day and a rock star by night, ready to tie the knot. She's on the hunt for a classic wedding dress, but her crew's concerned if it's too white for her edgy style. Emily, on the other hand, dreams of rocking that lifeless bride vibe on her big day. Hi! Hello! Hi, I'm Christiane. My name is Emily Ellis. I sing in a band and I'm an attorney. Oh my god, I love! Okay, I really, really love the long sleeves. So what are we looking for? We're looking for lace. Okay. White. Okay. Do you want to keep shopping? Yeah, yeah! All right, first dress that I chose for Emily was exactly what she was asking me for. Do a little fashion show for you guys. All right, just have a seat right there. All right. Where are you comfortable at? Price-wise. I would say 10. It's a wild mix of tradition and rebellion as she gears up for the wedding of a lifetime. Lawyer turned rock goddess saying I do in her own unique way. Number 5. Kia. Meet Kia, the bride with a whopping $15,000 budget, ready to make her dream dress a reality. Despite the healthy funds, Kia's journey to finding the one takes an unexpected turn. She's tried on over 100 gowns, yet the hesitation to say yes lingers. Will she discover the perfect dress that steals her heart, or is the elusive gown still waiting to make its grand entrance? 
Join Kia on this roller coaster of bridal fashion as she navigates through a sea of options in pursuit of the dress that feels just right for her big day. Kia? Hi. Hi, I'm Christiana. Hi, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Congratulations. Who are you here with? I've got. Do you have a price point you're comfortable staying in, with them? Um, with up to fifteen. Up to fifteen thousand. Okay, perfect. Sir, hey, Mom. My friend Kevin and two of my bridesmaids, Shannon and Leah. Beautiful. I'm a little overwhelmed because I know that Kia has seen a lot of different dresses and a lot of different styles. My vision for my wedding dress is a mermaid style, something very, very simple in the body, and then. The first dress is a Mark Zanino mermaid, and it has beading throughout the whole dress in a crisscross pattern. Number four, Liana. Liana's journey to find the perfect dress on Say Yes to the Dress turned out to be a roller coaster of emotions, opinions, and, of course, fabulous dresses. With only four months left until her big day, the pressure was on, and Liana had already been to four other bridal appointments, trying on numerous dresses without finding the one. Right from the start, tensions soared as Liana, her mother, and her sister clashed over their differing visions for the dress. Liana envisioned sparkles and cutouts, her sister leaned towards simplicity, and her mom dreamt of a classic ball gown. The trio's conflicting opinions created a storm before Randy Finoli and Lisa even had a chance to step in. Randy, the seasoned expert of Say Yes to the Dress, could sense the brewing drama. Liana, feeling overwhelmed, sought refuge in a hug from Randy as they attempted to navigate the storm of conflicting preferences. Having been to multiple stores and tried on countless dresses, Liana seemed to be in search of that one dress that would truly make her fall in love. Lee, why don't you try something like that? No. Oh, I know the right one in two seconds. Bride just want to look beautiful on their wedding day, but, um, let me say there's a lot of strong personalities here. I went dress shopping with Liana. About five or six times. Yeah. Look at the back on this one, Lee. If she doesn't get a dress today, I'm She's not getting married. We're though. divorcing her. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I can't do it no more. My legs hurt, my back hurt. <laughs> I go to places with her, she walks it. I'm not fully on board with that. I think this is your dress, and you I, need to I feel beautiful. It. The struggle intensified as her mother and sister had their own version of the ideal dress. The tension escalated even further as they argued even before the consultants Lisa and Randy arrived on the scene. To add to the complexity, Liana had already found a dress she liked at another store, making the task at Kleinfeld even more challenging. Randy and Lisa, determined to help Liana, selected dresses similar to the one she had previously admired. However, the quest for the perfect dress continued as Liana compared each option to the one she had fallen for earlier. In a twist of events, Liana stumbled upon a dazzling dress that ticked all her boxes but come with a hefty price tag of $7,000. Despite falling in love with it and rating it a 9 out of 10, she grappled with the budget concern. The tension persisted, with Liana torn between her love for the dress and her practical considerations about the cost. The episode left viewers hanging as Liana decided to sleep on it, contemplating whether to splurge on the $7,000 dress or stick to the $3,500 one she had liked from the previous store. The drama, emotions, and the quest for the perfect dress showcased the real struggles many brides face in their journey to say yes to the dress, making this episode a memorable and relatable experience for everyone preparing for their big day. Number 3. Sheena Sheena's living the dream as she hands over the reins to her mom for the ultimate Indian wedding extravaganza. With an unlimited budget, there's no holding back on the opulence and grandeur. From intricate decor to lavish traditions, nothing is too pricey for this elegant affair. Sheena's mom dives into the world of wedding planning, determined to turn her daughter's dream celebration into a reality fit for royalty. Get ready for a spectacle of culture, luxury, and love as Sheena's dream Indian wedding unfolds, creating memories that will last a lifetime. She's doing three events, there's a lot she needs to finalize. Sheena has an exam and she cannot come with us. As Sheena walks down the aisle, she looks very beautiful. The whole thing behind this piece, it was supposed to be a very elegant, simple piece. I would like it to make a little different. I would. Okay. I really feel like I'm so lucky to have her. 
Seeing Anand as I walked down the aisle, the table linens, the chair covers, even the napkin rings. Number two, wild bridal requests. Imagine this, a bride walks into a wedding dress shop with a wild request that sets the entire place abuzz. She's not looking for just any dress, she wants a naked dress. Yep, you read that right. Crystals and flowers strategically placed, creating a jaw-dropping look that's all about shock value. And guess what? She tries on a see-through dress that pushes the boundaries, causing quite a stir among the other mothers in the store. But the uniqueness doesn't stop there. Picture this bride saying I do underwater in Cancun scuba diving near a cliff. Now that's a wedding ceremony to remember. Another bride is all about the Wiccan fairy vibes, complete with fairy wings. It's like a mystical, magical dream come true. Then there's the one who dreams of a rainbow unicorn dress for her Coney Island wedding. A dress that looks like she vomited a rainbow onto herself. Now that's a colorful vision. And yes, she's planning to ride the slingshot in her wedding dress because why not? An amusement park wedding with a splash of adrenaline. In the end, each bride finds the dress that perfectly suits her unique vision, creating weddings that are as extraordinary and as one of a kind as they are. Talk about turning wedding traditions upside down. Number 1. Jamie Meet Jamie's seasoned bridesmaid, a wedding veteran with 21 ceremonies and 14 dress picks under her belt. While her wealth of experience is impressive, keeping quiet and letting go of control proves to be a challenge. The wedding dynamo, bursting with insights, is torn between her expertise and letting the bride take the reins. Will she manage to strike the perfect balance between guiding and letting Jamie's unique vision shine? Stay tuned as this seasoned pro navigates the delicate dance of being a supportive bridesmaid with a treasure trove of wedding wisdom. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.